welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I make content about crimes that have happened in Washington State along with lots of other things, so hello, welcome to the chaos. This is going to be part one of my Lena Morgana series on this channel. I'm very excited to share this with you as this has been years in the making. I want to try to be as respectful as I can to Lena and her legacy and her family, as most people who talk about her on the internet are not so much which is why I've taken so long to upload, so thank you to those of you who have been patiently waiting for some Lena Morgana content. But today we're going to be talking about Lena's music, and how her last 12 tracks she recorded, and possibly more of her music, was never properly released to the public. You don't scare me, but you should feel me. The sun is setting, don't trust your hearing. Lena Morgana was an extremely gifted and talented young woman whose life tragically ended too soon at just 19 years old in October 2008. This video will be focusing on her music, but don't worry, another video will be coming soon about her life and tragic death. Really quickly though, I do want to say that this video is in no way trying to connect Lady Gaga to Lena's death at all. That is a conspiracy theory that I just can't get behind, so if I see too many comments about that, I'm honestly just going to remove them. This isn't the place for that, so don't bother. Lena had dreamed of becoming a famous singer ever since she was a little girl, even saying herself that she had been performing since she was just a baby. Ever since I was... I performed in my cradle. There's not a day that I don't sing at all. I want to become famous, a famous singer, I do. So whatever it takes, I will do it. She would do whatever it takes to become just that. And in 2005, she started working with Rob Fusari and was also supposedly signed by Sony, a statement that has been floating around for years but I myself have not been able to confirm. Although keep in mind that this all takes place before music was completely digitized, so records are a little harder to find before 2008 or so. Lena was working closely with Fusari at the exact same time Lady Gaga had been, back when she was still going by her real name, Stephanie Germanata. For a little bit of background on this, you can watch my video about Fusari and Gaga's tumultuous relationship if you'd like. Link will be up in the eye or in the description below. But a brief recap, Lady Gaga did not have the best experience with Fusari to say the least. However, Gaga and Fusari did write a ton of music together, some of which was given to other artists to use, including Lena Morgana. Lena's song Spin You Around was written by Gaga and given to her personally, as well as a few others. In September 2010, Lena's still mourning mother, Yana, would interview with the New York Post. In the interview, she was still very much grief-stricken and said some outlandish things like Lady Gaga holds Lena's soul, which she later would take back. However, it's here that she claimed that Lena and Gaga had worked on and recorded 12 songs together that were never released. As mentioned before, Lady Gaga did write and give songs to Lena, three of those being Red Shoes, Spin You Around, and Wonderland. Those three songs are the only surely known songs that they worked on together. Although Wonderland was never officially released, it was leaked online in 2011. There's a version of Wonderland available on YouTube that even has Lady Gaga's vocals in the background along with Lena's. <laughs> In April 2012, Rob Fusari took to Twitter after losing a legal battle and threatened to leak some unreleased music from the 2006-2007 era when he and Gaga worked together. Apparently, she did not want these songs to be out in the public for some reason, so Fusari thought it would be a good idea to leak them on Twitter. These tweets have long since been deleted, but Fusari also mentioned Lena in his tweets, stating that she was about to be the best thing to ever happen to music. One of the only tweets left up about Lena is this one from August 2015, where he leaked Lena's song Stop Calling, which shares a few lines and a melody to Lady Gaga's unreleased Dirty Ice Cream, both of which were produced by Fusari. <laughs> Like 
It's very obvious that this was all done to hurt Gaga in some way. Emotionally, in my opinion, but I digress. Sometime around 2014, Fusari decided it was time for him to try and be an artist of his own, and he started his Kari Noki project. He released an official album in 2015 called Journal 8 with 8 tracks, one of which is titled American Dream, which is very similar to Alina Morgana's song titled American Girl. So similar, in fact, that the lyrics are a direct copy to hers in some places. That's not the only Lena ripoff he's got. There's a cover of her song Buddy. And a cover of Spin You Around as well. Spin You Around actually has three versions, one recorded by Gaga, one by Lena, and one by Fusari. I'll link them all in the description and let you guys decide in the comments which one is obviously better. And yes, I am aware that he had a hand in writing these songs and can probably do what he wants with them, but why not share the originals instead of making a cheap, terrible sounding cover? The reason I bring up Kari Noki though is not just to hate on Fusari's musical tastelessness. It's actually to talk about an interview I found from 2014 on the Gaga Daily Forum. In the interview, moderator Chika Skaz asked Fusari about an old unreleased song that he was supposedly using in his upcoming performances. Rather than summarize, I'll be reading the interview word for word here with the help of my boyfriend. Still on the subject of Gaga, I was noticing when I first wrote an article on the Stray Cat gig, it mentioned you would be performing some previously unreleased songs that you'd work with Stephanie on. And of course, as you can imagine, that got people really excited and slavering to hear more about that. Which ones did you end up performing at the gig? I performed Let Love Down, I performed Broken Drum Machine, and I did Wonderful. Wow, I don't think I've ever heard of Broken Drum Machine before. Yeah, I don't think anyone has. That was a special treat. I remember at one time, I want to say like a year or two ago, there was a rumor going around that you and Stephanie had worked on somewhere between 30 to 35 tracks. That sounds like a really prolific time for you guys. What were they intended for? We started off very much in this Beatles-esque Led Zeppelin rock and roll girl direction. And we probably recorded a dozen or so songs in that vein. And then when we switched gears, those 12 to 15 songs kind of got pushed aside because they just didn't fit the new direction. 12 to 15 songs they worked on got pushed aside because they were going in a different direction? Could some or all of these be the 12 missing Lena Morgana tracks? Well, maybe. According to Lena's mom, she and Gaga worked on 12 or so tracks together that never got released, and Lena's style of music was a lot more like Fusari was saying rock and roll girl than most of Gaga's early stuff that was officially released. The numbers and the styles add up, so I feel like this is too much of a coincidence to not be at least partly true. In July 2015, Fusari yet again threatened to leak unreleased song titles, this time via his Instagram. I could not for the life of me find the original post where he leaked them, but thanks to Gaga Daily, I was able to find the song titles he leaked. They are as follows. Funky Beat, Musicland, Lovesick Girl, Retrosexual, Go Go Go, Trigger, We Are Plastic, When She Go, Yay Ha, Cut the Cake, Alone Now, and Fabulesque. Notice how there are exactly 12 titles. Some of the song's titles sound like they're referenced in some of Lena's songs, most notably Lovesick Girl. Lady Gaga had a certain style back then where she would kind of connect her music together with certain words or phrases to link them to each other. So it's possible some of these were or could have been written and given to Lena, but we really don't know for sure. 
There's a Russian Facebook-like site called VK.com, where most of her fan club goes to discuss Lena and her music. Most of the songs I have found on YouTube and video clips of her come from this site, as it seems to be run from someone in her family, though I could be wrong about that. New music has been found of Lena's as of a few months ago, and that site is the first place anything new will usually show up. I do have a playlist of all of Lena's music I have been able to find on YouTube on my channel page. I encourage you all to give her a listen if you haven't already. The most recent song that has been released on that VK.com page is called Sweetwater, and it seems even the page runner was unaware of its existence, so it could be that Sweetwater may be one of the lost tracks. Who really knows at this point, though? Lena's YouTube channel has released a few of her songs posthumously as well, though they all seem to have been older records or songs produced by people other than Fusari, so I doubt they have anything to do with the lost tracks. The channel was uploading every year on Lena's birthday from about 2015 to 2019 and has not posted since. There is one song, however, that I feel might actually be relevant to the lost songs. In 2017, the song Give You Love was released on Lena's YouTube channel and it sounds a lot different than some of her other songs. If you listen closely, it almost sounds like you can hear a second voice in the background vocals. A second, very familiar voice. Now maybe I'm just hearing things, but this does sound like the type of song Gaga would have written back in 2006-2007. The last song uploaded by the official Lena Morgana channel is called DJ's World, and it also does not sound like her usual music, but does sound an awful lot like it belongs on the Fame album. With all that being said though, here are the songs that I think could be some of the missing tracks. Some of these have been leaked or released since the 2010 article, so they may not really be missing anymore, but again, this is speculation, as we really don't know what those 12 tracks really could have been. This one is interesting. In the interview on Gaga Daily with Fusari, she briefly talks about how he worked on a song called Musicland that ultimately Gaga decided to redo with someone else. I have only been able to find about a 30 second clip of this song, but it does sound like it would fit into Wonderland pretty well during the bridge verse if it's sped up slightly. This one I think would fit into the Lost Tracks purely because when it was originally leaked, the last 30 or so seconds were cut off and the audio quality was not the best. There has since been a better version put on YouTube. A lot of people compare the beat of this song to Paparazzi as well, which I don't think is a coincidence. Almost positive this one is one of the lost tracks because of that interview on Gaga Daily. Fusari seems very proud of himself for stealing this one for himself and the title just screams Lena to me. I did find Lady Gaga's concept demo of this song as well and it literally sounds like she's just singing the background vocals, like it was meant to be made for someone else to sing the main vocals. Someone like Lena. <laughs>
This is an interesting one. As I showed earlier in the video, Gaga's unreleased song Dirty Ice Cream shares the same line, melody, lyrics, and all. I'm guessing since Gaga didn't end up releasing Dirty Ice Cream, she decided to rework it for Lena, and I think it came out great. It also shares a similarity to Telephone, which again, I think is just that Gaga likes to have links from one song that she wrote to another at the time, since she did this a lot. But the fact that it mysteriously leaked around the same time Fusari was threatening the leaks of all the song titles says a lot. Another one that leaked in 2015 that even Gagapedia has confirmed was written by Lady Gaga in 2006. This one is haunting, but very much in Lena's style of music. The next two, Cut the Cake and Alone Now, are purely speculation, since there is no trace of either song that I can find, but they were both included in the leaked song titles from 2015, and at least Alone Now, the title definitely makes me think it was a Lena song. This is another one I definitely think is one of the missing tracks, because Fusari did his own version called Don't Let Love Down, which I'm sure doesn't do the original justice. The lyrics of the song definitely make me think it was recorded by Lena at some point. Also, in my experience researching this topic, if it's been recorded by both Gaga and Fusari, it was most likely also recorded by Lena. As I said before, this one and DJ's World just don't seem like Lena's usual style, and were released posthumously, so they could have been some of the last tracks Lena ever recorded. I also swear I can hear someone else's voice singing backup vocals for her in both songs. The chorus of the song also shares the same melody as Gaga's Disco Heaven. This one just sounds more like the fame era Lady Gaga than any other Lena Morgana music, but that's just speculation of course. This one, the first version I can find of it at least, was leaked in 2020 on the Lena Morgana VK group, but this is probably the biggest contender for one of these missing tracks, mostly because it sounds exactly the same as Lady Gaga's unreleased We Are Plastic, which was a song title that was leaked by Fusari in 2015 and the song itself was leaked in 2019. Here we go round on the boulevard pop cut that kicked on the sugar flow stop Here we go don't stop It seems a lot of those leaked song titles do fit in with the possible missing tracks. But I think that's it for this video. I really really hope that one day we'll be able to hear the full 12 tracks that Lena and Gaga worked on together. But to be honest, it may never officially happen. I honestly think that these songs may be too personal to Gaga to ever see the light of day. She may have only worked with Lena for a short time, but I definitely think there was a bond between the two. Especially since they worked with Fusari who could have been responsible for a lot of terrible things at the time. Allegedly, don't sue me, I'm poor. Thank you guys again for your patience with me with this video, and don't worry, I have at least two more Lena Morgana videos coming, so you'll have plenty to look forward to if that's what you're here for. If you liked this video, please give it a like, and maybe say something in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe or follow me on Twitter if you want. Links are always in the description for sources I used in this video. Thanks for watching.